Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an exciting topic. I think it is December in Ghana. Yes, and today is I think December 7th. Yeah, so we are already into December and I don't know about you, but I am in the holiday spirit. I love the holidays. I love this time of year. Um it's just such a wonderful time of year, a time to give, a time to spend time with family and friends, and a time to party and hang out in Ghana. <laughs> so I'm happy to be here this December. This is my first time actually experiencing December in Ghana because last year, was there wasn't much going on because of COVID. Afrochella had a block party and that's about all that I did really. So I'm looking forward to things this year, and I hope that you are too. So if you're watching this and you are headed to Ghana, you are headed here this month, I have some things that I want to share with you, um, some information, lots of information actually. I even got my notepad so I don't forget anything, and you should get yours too and take notes, okay? Because I'm gonna give you a lot of stuff and I think that um, it will be very helpful to you. So. Get ready, get ready, get ready. <laughs> First, we're gonna start with the airport, okay? I'm not gonna get into the COVID stuff because I think, so first of all, let me say this. So many people are doing content on Christmas in Ghana or December in Ghana. So check out everybody's stuff, okay? I'm sure that you're gonna get a little bit of things from everybody that you didn't know. So I'm trying to give you some different information that I haven't heard that's out there yet. Um, I think the COVID situation has already been talked about. Um, you can check out, I'm gonna give you some channels to check out too. You can check out Candy Jewel. She has a really good um, video on December in Ghana. Um, I think she talks about the COVID, um, but all the COVID procedures, you might already know them. I'm hoping that you do. If you don't, you need to just check with your airline and check with your airport because from what I understand is they both sometimes have different procedures and you have to follow both of them. So that's my only thing that I'm gonna say about COVID. Be ready to take the test when you get here. It's $150 from what I was told. So outside of COVID, yellow fever. So. Ghana requires the yellow fever vaccination. However, however, I think they rarely ask for it, guys. When I came, I literally was trying to force them to look at my yellow fever card. Yeah, and they weren't trying to hear it. They were like, ma'am, move forward. We don't wanna see that. So, I will not say that you don't need the yellow fever vaccination um, because it is required and they might ask you for it. So you have to make that choice if you're gonna take a chance or not. With COVID going on, I'm thinking that there's probably zero chance that they're gonna ask you for it. 
Um, but if you decide not to do it or you don't have it, when you get here, you can take it at the airport. But it is a required vaccination, so just be prepared and be in the know, all right? Um, so we know that malaria is a deal here in Ghana. And yes, you need to be prepared for malaria, okay? Um, you, I wouldn't say don't take anything before you come. The things in the U.S., especially in the U.S., I know for sure, I think also in the U.K., are expensive, all right? If you go to your doctor, they're going to charge you a lot of money for appeals, shot, whatever. Just don't worry about it. Wait until you get to Ghana. Um, I'm going to give you the name of two malaria pills brands that you can take the so lonart and mylar 10 okay lonart mylar 10 and i'm gonna put everything in the description box for you you can pick those up when you get here i believe they are less than ten dollars you'll spend for that so you're gonna spend a fraction of the cost if you wait until you get here in ghana um, now these are not anti-malaria pills, okay? So these pills are used to treat malaria, but they do keep it at bay. If you take it, you know, you go ahead, when you get here, you take one course of it. That is what I did. I have not had malaria. I've been here almost two years and no malaria. I'm just praising Jesus. <laughs> so, and I've only taken one round of it. So, um... I mean, not saying that I don't think that that has sustained me all this time, but it will sustain you for quite some time. So that is my suggestion for the malaria pills. Also, um, come with your mosquito repellent. If you don't have mosquito repellent, I use neem oil. You can get it on Amazon. You can find you some neem oil somewhere and you need something to mix it with. So you can try sweet almond oil, um, olive oil, just some other type of base oil to mix it with and use it and use that on your body and it works very, very well. So get your neem oil and lather up and that works well. If you don't have either one of those when you come, please don't fret. They Locally, they have mosquito repellent and it works very well as well. <laughs> it works very well as well. So you can also just use what's here. So but you do need something that's going to protect you especially at night make sure you're lathering up if you're going to be out all night you're going to have to reapply okay so every about four hours you're going to need to reapply um so because in some areas the mosquitoes are bad so please keep that in mind if you don't want to get bit um if you get sick something happens um, just know that you can get amoxicillin over the counter here, okay? And it is very affordable. So if you find that you need to take some type of antibiotic, uh, which we hope that does not happen, but if that is the case, you can go to any pharmacy and ask for amoxicillin. Um, they're going to ask you why. You know, the pharmacist is going to ask you what you need it for, let them know what your issue is, and they will make sure that you get the right type of amoxicillin for your needs all right but that is an option i think that's pretty cool because you know in the states you're going to pay a little bit of money for it and it's going to have to be a prescription so in this case we got you covered okay all right so let's talk about eats 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 <laughs> where are you going to eat first of all i definitely suggest you try Ghanaian food if this is your first time then please, you have to try it. If it's not your first time, then I'm sure you've already tried it and I hope you have at least one dish, right? Yeah, hope so. <laughs> so, but anyway, I'm gonna tell you three places that I think you should try if you want some good Ghanaian food, all right? And these places, they're not in Osu and I know a lot of people will be in Osu area, um, but what living room is one place and it is in East Legon. So maybe East Legon is another popular place that you'll be going to hang out or you'll be frequenting, um, frequenting, um, the living room. So try living room. The next one I'm going to recommend is Bush Canteen. Bush Canteen has delicious food, 
local food and um, it's fast, it's quick, and yeah, you definitely have to try it out. The last one is Demensa. I believe I'm saying that right. It is just a cool chop bar where you can um, get your local food in clay pots. So you get another type of local experience. Please try it out. Get your fufu, you know, get your garden stew. Uh, they have it all. So those three places, you should be good with your local dishes. All right. <laughs> Um, also, I must say that if you want tilapia, if you have not had tilapia in Ghana, you need to have tilapia in Ghana. You have to experience it, okay? And the best place, hands down, to get tilapia in Banku is Filippo's, okay? Filippo's has several locations all over Ghana, so wherever you are, you can find it, one that is close to you. So go and get your tilapia as well, okay? <laughs> Next, let's fancy it up a little bit, westernize it a little bit. If you don't want to eat Ghanaian food every day, okay, that's fine. We, we got a little something for you too. You can have some westernized foods. You can ha have a mix at some of these restaurants as well. Um, but I'm going to just give you a couple of suggestions of rest restaurants where you can get some pretty decent western food, okay, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, the first one is Starbites. Starbites is a very popular. Um, it's a chain. I believe they have more than one location here in Ghana, in um, Accra in particular. The next one is Pot Belly. You're gonna get a nice little Western experience there, like cowboy Western <laughs> experience. But Pot Belly is pretty cool. They have some nice dishes too, and a very nice and different atmosphere. They also do like uh, live music sometimes, and they do karaoke. I'm not sure what they have planned for the holiday season, but I'm sure they have something up their sleeves. So check out Potbelly. Um, and they have, I know, they just opened the Osu location. So Potbelly is in Osu. If you're gonna be around the Osu area, they have another one in East Legon. So check it out. And there's a third location as well. So check out Potbelly. You can find them on Instagram. All of these places I think you can find on Instagram as well too. And give you some more information. Um, and Bondi. Bondi is nice. Like it's, it's kind of like an upscale restaurant um, with upscale prices. Let me let you know <laughs> as far as local prices. Nah, you're going to have a little bit more upscale prices, but... The atmosphere is amazing and the food is also good. So I think that it is worth the price point. So, and it's definitely worth checking out. This place is in Osu. So you'll find it very close to you if you are gonna be in that area. And the last place I'm just gonna kind of throw in there. This is one of my favorite places. It's also in Osu and this place is called Spadana. And Spadana is real laid back, but it's a very nice atmosphere. They have local dishes, they have westernized dishes um, that you can choose from, and you can get your hookah there, you can have your drinks, and just chill and relax. So look out for Spadana and check them out too. That's my little hangout. <laughs> if you want some place now, there are gonna be so many events going on. I know you already know that. I do not have a list of events. I do not know everything or not even half of what's gonna be going on. I'm sure there's information online that you can check out. I'm gonna give you three places that you can go. If you want like cafes, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention a few cafes and um, places where you can hear live music, all right? Because that's just, that's my thing. I love live music. So I got to hook you up, you know? <laughs> so one is Jamestown Cafe. So this little cute cafe, it is next to um, a club, basically, not club, well, I guess a lounge, you can say, called Front and Back, Front and Back. So um, they are right next door to it. No, sorry, not Front and Back, Alley Bar. That's what it's next to. So you can go to Jamestown and they have live music. 
Um, it's also very just nice and cozy place where you can go have lunch, go have a drink, meet up with some people if you want to meet up for lunch or something like that. That is a very nice place to go. All right, so Jamestown Cafe, and it is in Osu. Next on the list, we have Sai Wine and Champagne Bar. This is another cute and cozy place in Osu. Um, I might be a little partial to Sai because I sing there <laughs> and do some live music every now and then there. There are other artists that also perform at Sai now. And um, I will be doing a Christmas show on the 23rd. Just shameless little plug here while we're at it. So if you're going to be in town then, come check me out on the 23rd for a Christmas carol show. But Sai, you will love Sai. They have games it's, a, it's like a family atmosphere as well very cute very cozy um and you can just go with the family and hang out so check outside for sure don't leave here without checking outside and it's again it's in osu the next place i'm going to mention is republic bar and grill so republic is a nice little outdoor place where you can get some nice food they also have live music sometimes they have a dj um, at times, um, it's a real cool place and it's right in the heart of everything too. So if you just want to stop by, hang out, meet up with some people, maybe before you go out, out, this is a good place to do that. All right. You can check out Republic Bar and Grill. And the other place I actually like, uh, 233, which is a, it's like, um, they play a lot of local music, live music there. Um, also, I just thought about another place, guys. Zen Garden. You have to go to Zen. So, 233 Zen Garden. Check out those places for lots of live local music. Yeah, so you can kind of get the feel of what's being played here in Ghana. And, um, yeah, that's, it's just, it's, it'll be a nice little atmosphere and feel for you there at both of those places. Okay. Moving right along to the next thing. So if you are looking for places to get clothes made, all right, you wanna come to Ghana, you wanna get your African attire, you definitely should do it. Um, I'm gonna mention two places and both of these places, well, one of the places I'm actually getting a dress made now and the other place I have gotten things made before made there. Um, so the first one is called Royal Nacor Designs and Fabrics. Um, so this is a nice shop. She has the whole shopping experience. You can buy material there. You can buy other little gifts there. She has kind of a little bit of everything going on in this shop. All right. So it's really cool. She is a very, very um, knowledgeable seamstress and she will get you what you need and what you want. So you can stop by and get your clothes made by her. Other place is located right in the heart of Osu on Oxford Street. It's near the KFC on Oxford Street. So if you are familiar with, you know, Ghana or um, Accra, then you'll know exactly where I'm talking about. If you're not, just ask around when you get here you will definitely know where Oxford Street is and it's near the KFC. They have a lot of little shops right there on the street. So this guy is James and Twi, and you can ask around that area for him and they'll point you straight to him, okay? So it's not hard to find, especially if you go to that specific area. He has a nice clothing brand. His store there sells everything as well. Like he has already made clothes. He has um, little gifts that you can buy and bring back home. And you can also get things made, okay? He is a very excellent seamstress, so he will take care of you. James is the guy, I'm telling you. You can go and check him out as well, okay? So, now you got your clothes made. And, oh! This I kind of meant to talk about earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in right now. Um, money. 
since we're talking about buying things and getting things made, exchanging money, you need to be prepared to have cash. That is my suggestion, okay? Ghana is still a cash, cash driven country, which means that most of the places are going to only accept cash, all right? Now, things are growing, things are moving forward. There are many places that will accept your card. So please don't say or don't think that they will not. But there are also many places that will not, okay? Um, so I think that it's safer to just have cash. So when you get to the airport, you're gonna wanna exchange your money at that time. It's going to be the easiest way to do it. Just do it at the airport, okay? Um, I would not bring a lot of cash with me, just enough to get through a day or two. And then you can use the ATM to pull out more cash, okay? You're going to get your best rates at the ATM. So use the ATM. You can't use Cash App cards, but you can, from what I'm told, you can use PayPal cards now i haven't tried it but i was told by several people that you can um, but cash up cards will not work so make sure you have an atm card all right a bank card and um yeah convert that cash right away on arrival let's talk beaches <laughs> all right so you come into ghana in december and it's hot guys let me tell you you are going to have some nice weather and you're gonna wanna go to the beach. There are lots of beaches to choose from, but I think the best beaches are a little bit outside of Accra, all right? I think all of the ones I'm gonna mention are right on the same strip, you know, but they are a little bit outside of Accra, so you're gonna have to drive just a tad bit, but it's gonna be worth it, I promise, because the other beaches in the city Don't do it. <laughs> Let me say this. Labadi, I like Labadi. Labadi is what it is. You know, like if you want that experience, you're going to get a little bit of everything at Labadi. Period. It's, it's just so funny to me. But it's a fun time. If you just want to go hang out there, you know, chill. If people are going to try to sell you things. People are eating, people are partying and having a good time. There are horses, there is entertainment. Like there, you can, I've gotten massages. I've gone on a full shopping spree, everything at Labadi, okay? You can get it there. <laughs> I think it's a good experience. If you want to experience it, you can check it out. Um, but if you want the beach, beach experience, you want to go, like I said, a little bit outside of the city to Bojo Beach or Kokobite or Wakanda Beach, all right? So those are the three that I am going to suggest for a nice beach experience, okay? You will have to pay to get into Bojo. I think it's 20 CDs. Um, and Kokobite, I'm not sure about, but Wakanda is no charge to get in. And they have really, really good food there, seafood. Um, yeah, so it's a really, it's a whole experience at Wakanda. So definitely check out Wakanda if you can. Um, yeah, so those are the beaches. <laughs> All right, last thing is just want to tap, tap just a little bit on places to go. So I think that you probably already know that one of the biggest um, things that people come here to see are the castle slash dungeons in Cape Coast and Elmina, all right? I definitely think that you need to be, especially if you are an African American, you need to be prepared um, emotionally and mentally for that trip. Now, um, that's just my disclaimer. Some people I hear, they just, they're ready to go. Some people are like, I ain't ready. So I understand. I do think you should be ready before you go, but it is a wonderful, wonderful experience. And yes, it is going to be about, I think it's about two hours outside of the city. So you're gonna need to, I say get a private driver. 
Unfortunately, I don't have any recommendations for private drivers at this time. Um, at the time of me shooting this video, if that changes, it will be in the description box. I will add it later. Um, but if you can find a private driver, that's going to be the best way to go so that you can get to both of the, the dungeons in Caicos and Elmina. All right. Now, um, inside of Accra, I think one of the places that you should definitely check out is Makola Market. It is, I think, one of or maybe the biggest market in Accra. And it is loaded with stuff. Anything you want, you are going to be able to find it there. However, if you try to tackle it alone, you probably won't find much of anything. <laughs> Because there's so many people, there's so much going on. And yeah, if you know what you want, you wanna go with somebody that knows. You wanna go with a Ghanaian that can speak the language, that can help you bargain, and that can get you those good prices and take you to exactly where you want to be. Now, I do know of a YouTuber by the name of Truvon who is giving tours of Makola or, or will take you um, on your shopping experience, go with you on your shopping experience to Makola. So check her out here and definitely do it guys. If you want to go there, you need to have somebody that you can trust. And I think that she'd be a great person to do that with. So check out Makola. You can also go there before you go to James or to um, Letitia is her name for uh, Royal Nacor designs. Before you go to them, you can get your own fabric at Makola if you want to. So that's also an option. Yeah. So I think that is it. I have given you a lot of things to consider and a lot of information. I hope that it is going to be helpful for you as you make your way down here for this Christmas season. Yeah. So I will see you in the next video very, very soon. We're going to talk more Christmas stuff too, guys. So I hope you're in the season. Um, no, I hope you're in the spirit. Sorry. Cause we're going to talk more Christmas stuff too. So until next time, see you soon. Oh, don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends. Cause this is a very informational video. So make sure you share with your friends that are coming along with you or if you know someone that is coming, share it, share, share, share. Oh, I'm embracing and you, believe this right. is true, all the misconceptions of you, now I believe.